Hey guys, Mario Jacob over in here, and welcome to the How to Fix the Check Me Out channel. So, I did record my voice at the beginning of this video, but I decided I'm going to do a voiceover just so I can sound clear since I know what I'm doing now. So, this is basically the same as my other previous how to videos. What you need is an SD card, you need to have your Wii connected to the internet with the custom DNS settings that they list on their install instructions on reconnect 24s website, a computer so you can copy over the content, and the reconnect 24 patcher. And so first things first, you'll need to go download the most recent release of the reconnect 24 patcher. And yeah, I'll continue with you guys in just a second. So right here, this is where you guys will need to make sure that you'll download iOS 80 and iOS 36, I believe. I could be wrong. I can't see on the video what other number it says, but just go with what it says right there on the website. Okay, so now that you've downloaded the Reconnect 24 patcher, now what we need to do is type in the number one to go ahead and start. And it'll this is where the patcher will download the required files you'll need to update or download onto your Wii. And so with this you want to go ahead and choose one to, even though you already you might already have reconnect 24 installed you want to go ahead and click type in one and click enter or hit enter on your keyboard and then once you do that we'll head to the next step I'm just waiting on myself to hurry up <laughs> dun, dun, dun. okay so now on the next step on this one now this is just me, but I suggest you type in 2 uh, for custom and hit enter. Because otherwise you'll be downloading and reinstalling every single channel. But with custom, it will download it will download only the channels that you need and what the developers of Reconnect24 were talking about installing or updating. So once I get back to that, so now you type in 2, hit enter, and first things first, once you're on this screen, make sure your region is the right region before you start downloading anything. Right now it says Europe. I live in the United States, so I need to type in whatever number it shows in there to switch your region, click enter. Then once I'm ready, I'll hit whatever number it, it shows on there, say I'm ready, and then I'll hit enter. And I read through on there, uh, previous on the video, to make sure it has everything that, that it's going to download and install. So, I'm going through it, talking to you guys. Okay, so now it'll be downloading all the required files, and once it's all done, in the window on the Windows Explorer window to the right side behind this, it'll produce a apps folder and a wad folder. In the app folder, it'll contain a it will contain a Wii Mail patcher folder in the apps folder along with a Wiimod Lite folder. The Wiimail patcher 
you only need to use that one if you have not patched the Wii Mail before at all. So if you've already done that in the past, you don't need to worry about it. Wii Mod Lite, it's their own, it's Reconnect 24's WAD manager that they suggest you use, but you don't have to use it. It's how you install the Reconnect 24 versions of the Everybody Votes channel, Nintendo channel, Reconnect 24, and the Check Me Out channel, along with the other ones. And that's the one I use in this video. So you could try to follow along, but I, but yeah. And then in the WAD folder, that will contain the WADs that we need, the Everybody Votes channel, the Check Me Out channel, Nintendo channel, uh, I think I already said everybody votes channel. And then the two iOS wads that you need to uh, patch on your Wii for the other channels to work. And so, once this is done, we will continue. So, see you guys in a second. Okay, so once you get to this screen, then the patching is all done and it has all your files ready to be copied over from your SD card to the Wii. And where you place these files, the apps folder and the WAV folder, once you open up your SD card on your computer, you need to just copy it directly onto the root of your SD card. And that's all you need to do. So once that's all done, and actually I'll just reiterate again what I said so I can follow along with it so you just need that wads folder which has uh, all all five files that you need to reinstall and if I will go back in the apps folder it, sh it should contain the two other folders I was talking about okay I guess I don't go into that but anyways that contains Wii Mod Lite and the Wii Mail Patcher. So anyways, you copy them over directly to the root of your SD card. And once it's done copying over... Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Okay, so now it's done copying over. So now you just eject your SD card. And you will head... You'll plug it... Well, you will um, plug it from your computer once it's done copying. And then... Head over to your Wii, plug it in, and I'll continue talking to you guys through the next part of the video. So, see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so, um, like I said before, sorry if the audio sounds bad, but anyways, um, let's go ahead and head over to the Homebrew channel. If you don't already have that installed, uh, there's a lot of, uh, inst there's a lot of videos out there that people have made on how to install one. I keep saying I'm going to make one, I promise I will make, try to make one soon if I can. It's really easy. So, for now I'm just going to, hey guys. Anyways, uh, one other thing I forgot to tell you, uh, when you use the patcher, one the in the apps folder, it downloaded something called Wii Mod Lite. So it downloaded this thing right here. So this is how you can install the. Here, let me turn off the light in here. So it's not. This is how you install the channels and the WAD files. I could adjust the lighting so you guys can see that. So, we're going to go ahead and load this one. So, apply patches, please wait. Okay, so, uh, first things first, you need to go head over to the 
wad manager. So do this. And then we got it in our SD card, so we SD card slot. Next, uh, don't worry about all this other stuff. It's just these ones right here. The check me out, you know, I you know, the wads and that. So what you need to do is press your plus button on your Wii remote. So mark all of those, and then. Um, let's see. So after that, you go ahead and click A to proceed. And before I click that, if for some reason you get an error saying a higher version is installed, all you need to do is go back to the WAD uh, selection menu, press minus on the whichever WADs you already have highlighted, and then try installing it again. So. Hopefully that won't happen with mine, but let's hope everything goes smoothly, which it should. And make sure you're connected to the internet whenever, before you start all this. And during this process, you'll see your the disk slot on the Wii light up, like mine is right now. I'll try to see if I can focus the lighting on this phone too. Okay, so that was one of them. So now I'm doing the Everybody Votes channel. That it, I have a feeling it's probably almost done with this one. Okay, so now it's installing iOS 31.wad. Okay, iOS 80.wad. And now now it's installing the Nintendo channel. Wait, they misspelled that. Nintendo. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I guess that's the name of the WAD file. Uh, but don't worry, the name of that WAD file won't affect the na actual physical name of the channel on the Wii. Okay, so it's successfully finished. So once you get to this screen, just press any key. And... Yeah, we'll press the home button to go back to the homebrew channel. Okay, now that that's done, we can go ahead and head back to the Wii menu. And let's check out the Nintendo channel. Oh, not Nintendo, Check Mail channel. Wow, I messed that name up. So, I don't have it on the screen yet. Oh, yes, do. First things first, I need to double check and make sure I'm connected to the internet, otherwise uh, it won't load. Oh, and one thing I will put at the beginning of this video, I'm running version 4.3 on the Wii U menu, the United States version. So, let's go ahead, connection settings, okay, I'm working on wired. Check this. Okay, and I believe that's the same DNS in order to connect to the internet, like they had said. 164.132.44.106. Secondary DNS 8.8.8.8. And then once you connect, once it successfully connects to the internet, just click no on the we update. We connect, make sure you turn We Connect 24 on also. So, make sure you turn this on. Turn that standby connection on. And then slot illumination, you can change it to whichever one you like. They just turn, turn it up to bright. And that should do it. Okay, so the moment we've all been waiting for. And this channel's been in development for a long time now. And they just released the files yesterday or today. Okay, so. We shouldn't get a Nintendo discontinued it. Check, check me out. Okay, 
Welcome to Check Me Out channel where you can show off your own knees and post them plaza or visit the contest plaza to design and submit knees for special contests. Create the perfect knee to fit the theme and see how many votes you get. Me Arts Registration. Thank your Me Arts as your signature. Any me you submit to a contest for the post and plaza will be signed with your Me Arts. Before you start using this channel, you'll have to register me as your Me Arts. Note about your Me Arts. The nickname of your Me of the me you assign to your me art sim will be visible to all users worldwide. And blah blah blah. I'm guessing this is what it used to say. Okay, so this is all the ones on my Wii. It's on my default then. No, oh, are you kidding me? Dang it, this was the one that came from my original Wii. Find me something. Really? Okay, fine. I'll just use this one. I think I made this one on this week. So you've chosen Jacob as your Me Arson. No, if you modify the Me, you have chosen as Me Arson the Me Channel. You will need to re-register your Me Arson. So, we got that done. From this series. The latest news from Check Me Out Channel posted on your Wii Message Board. Yes, I definitely want to join that. Okay, and you can change it over there. Now, they said this won't work, so I want to try it out just to show that it's probably going to show an error. And yeah, you can submit them to be judged for contests. Yeah, they said that they said that right now the error code that's going to show up is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Okay, that just brought me back to the Wii menu. I think. Yeah, okay. So... Don't click on that if you don't want to be sent directly back to the Wii Mini. But, let's go back in there, because we want to check out the other part. Because I believe the other part works, and they said they should have about a thousand Mii characters already. So, got this. Yeah, okay. Posting plaza. This should, this should work. You guys probably already know about that. If you need to, you can pause it to read it. Hey, here we got Mario. Luigi. Wow. So it looks like we already got a whole lot of them already. Man, I remember looking through all... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I just saw one I used to see on here a long time ago. Yep, I remember seeing that one. I might still have it on my on my me channel. Or if not that then save it on my Wii remotes. So who else do we? Is that Snoopy? No, that is not Snoopy. But it looks like Snoopy. So it looks like we got it working again. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see me do more how-to tutorials on I anything you guys want then go ahead and hit that like button down below that lets me know you guys want to see me do videos like this more often and if you aren't already go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below and then hit the bell icon right next to it and you guys will be notified when I upload a video and as always guys thank you so much for watching my video bye bye